Hi everyone, my name is Roxana Khan, and I'm making this message for Bullying Awareness and Prevention Week. Um, a few years ago, I was doing a workshop. I had a workshop called Get the Bully Off Your Back. And what I was trying to do is trying to show kids how to go from victim to not a victim of bullying. And actually, a lot of it comes down to the way you carry yourself. Well, there was one kid in my, my workshop that I really failed, and I couldn't help it. I failed him because he was going through some pretty hardcore bullying. What this boy said to me, he said, look, at my school, I'm bullied so much that what I do is I get my friend, at the end of the school day, I get my friend to lock me in the locker. And then when the bullies are gone and it's safe to come out, he comes and he opens the locker and I come out. And I was shocked and appalled because this is going on at this, in, in this day and age. And I said, well, why don't you talk to the teacher? He, there were no solutions for him. He could not see any way out of this situation. And I, I felt, I just, my heart broke for him. And I know what it feels like to be in that situation because when I was growing up, I was bullied to the point, that, to the same point where I was absolutely terrified. So what I'm actually doing in my own way to address this is I'm, going, I'm writing books that will show how a kid, like I was thinking, well, how did I do it? Because I went from being that scared, uh, being bullied and being that scared, to the point where now nobody bullies me. And in fact, some people think uh, I'm a bit intimidating. Um, I don't bully either. I make sure that I don't because I remember what that feels like and I refuse. I restrain myself. I refuse to allow myself to do that. But for the students in the schools, for some, the bullying is working. They like it. They, they, they rather them than me, that kind of thing. So the approach that we're taking, I think, is the wrong approach. We should not be uh, focusing on the bullying or on the bystander. We should be focusing on empowering the victim. And that's been my approach in terms of trying to deal with this issue. But we need to do something because kids are really suffering out there. And it's they're getting desperate. A couple of days ago, there was a shooting in a high school, and I'm sure... There was bullying at the, the heart of it. Kids don't go to such drastic measures unless they feel like there's no other choice. We cannot let it get to that point. We need to stop the bullying. We need to prevent it. And we need to raise awareness. Empower the victims. Give them the tools that they need. And come down with consequences on those who would bully. I hope, I hope you're safe out there. Thank you.